Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is a She Modern video and I'm really excited because I'm using the new gradient powders. So I hope you like this one. It's gonna be Halloween themed. Yep, I'm starting a little early, sorry about that. Um, I just, I don't know, I just did. So <laughs> let's just get started. Okay, so Tina let me pick out a package of um, ombre pigments. So I picked out, I selected four of them here. So I have white, blue, red, and black. And then in um, with the glitter and pigment sets now, um, comes a random sheet of water decals. So that's completely awesome. I love that. So today we're going to be using the black. And I'll be painting my nails with Concrete Wonderland and Clean Slate by Wave Gel. I have the base coat on my fingernails right now. And I'll be using the Shiny No Clean Top Gel. And for anyone recommend um, wanting to um, take off your um, gel polishes faster, I recommend Hit the Bottle, keeping it peel. But this does not... This, I mean, this stays on your hand maybe like a week. You know, you're not going to get like a two-week wear out of this. Okay, so I'm going to put Concrete Wonderland on my pointer finger and my ring finger. Just want to apply your gel in nice thin coats. And on my other fingers, I'm going to put a clean slate. Okay, I'm going to cure that and we'll come back for the second coat. Okay, we're going to go in with the second coat of Clean Slate. I've already cured that first coat for 30 seconds. And we're going to put a second coat of Concrete Wonderland. I'm going to cure this um, layer for 30 seconds as well. Now I'm going to top coat the um, rest, I mean the, the clean slate, the black nails with the clear top coat right now because I'm not going to be doing anything with them. And the top coats I normally cure for a minute. However, I'm only going to do 30 seconds right now because when I put the top coat on the gray nails, they'll get another 30 second cure. Okay, so I've added some liquid latex, and I've got a little um, piece of plastic here. I've got my black ombre powder. I've got a cut-up um, makeup wedge, um, which I really like cutting it up because it, my fingernails are so small. So this is perfect. I usually get about four uses out of it. And I think that's all we need. Oh. I have a little bit of water in here. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than Tina does it. Um, I am just, I don't know, I've just been experimenting and I kind of like this way. So I'm going to put a little bit of the pigment on the mixing canvas. Kind of keeping it on a paper towel too because um, when I did this earlier for practicing purposes, I, um, I did a few different ways of doing things and um, 
I don't know how the pigment got underneath a little piece of plastic. Maybe I'm just like super messy. I don't know. But anyways, so we're just going to keep it um, as clean as possible. And then I'm just going to squirt out a little bit of water right here. Now, the nail polish has been cured. There is no top coat or base coat on it. And you just have the tacky layer. The reason I'm doing this is because I've noticed that um, when Tina was doing it, there was like some little like pigment flecks or something like that. And I wanted a smoother gradient. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the water a little bit. Kind of tap it off. Put the very tip in the water. And then come and get the pigment. See how that looks? Okay. And then... So then what I'm going to do, and move this out of the way. Some more paper towel here. There, you can slide this over so maybe you can see it, but I want to get you close. So I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the pigment along the lower edge okay, and I'm just going to do this until it's nice and opaque then I'm going to kind of flip it around I'm going to move my way up a little bit. And it's making a nice gradient. And I can go in if I want it to be a little bit lighter, I can just go in with the spot of the sponge that doesn't have anything on it and just tap it and then I'll make it transition a little bit smoother there and if I want a little bit more black I'm just going to pull down a little bit Just kind of doing it a little bit back and forth until I kind of get the gradient look that I want. And then I'm going to go ahead with some more of the pigment along the lower edge. Okay, now that I'm happy with the gradient, I'm just going to go in with a shiny no clean top coat. I'm going to kind of wipe off the brush before I stick it back in if I need to get a little bit more on the brush. And then I'm just going to cure that for um, 30 seconds and come back. So I'm just going to remove the um, liquid latex. Now at the um, point where I just put the shiny no clean top coat, I actually didn't even think about it. I have some top coat that isn't shiny and no clean and I probably should have used that so you have a tacky layer. Um, to put on your water decal um, or you can you know always just put a base coat over because I know um, anyway so I didn't do that so those will be some things that I would 
recommend um, so that you have a nice little tacky layer for the um, water decal to stick in. Oh, I've got liquid latex stuck here on my nail. Wonderful. All right, there we go. So I'm um, just going to grab the other one off and then I'm going to come back for the decals. And if you have a little bit of pigment peeking over, just kind of clean that up with a little bit of acetone. I use a cleanup pen and then we'll be good to go for the next step. Okay, so I'm gonna use um, these, this foil mix right here. Somehow I ended up with pigment still all over my mat, but actually it wiped away pretty clearly with just some um, little cotton round and I actually just spritzed some um, alcohol onto my pad. And I do like to save these edges and I'm really excited to show you what I'm going to do with them next. Um, there's going to be a couple ideas. There'll be one coming up in October and then the one I am super most excited about for fall. I, I had the idea of doing that one today, but I just I wanted to save it for November. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys love that one too. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a couple of these little skulls um, for this design. You can do anything that you want. I mean, you could use little um, hollow ghosts or whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to use these little skulls today. And I'm just going to um, trim nice and close to the edge of them. Just kind of trimming it because they are on like a little, um, I don't even know what you call it. They have a little um, bit of plastic or whatever around them. Anyways, let me get the other one trimmed out. Okay, so I have a little bit of plastic here. You can use any kind of plastic. Um, Walmart sells plastic file folders. You can use that. And I'm just going to put a little bead of water. And then you want to get your, um, your little water decal in the bead of water because you want the water to be on the paper backing. So the backing gets wet and it releases the image. And it only usually takes... You know, just a few seconds to do that. Let's see. These guys should be ready by now. There we go. And this is all real time. I haven't fast forwarded that. And then um, what you're going to do is you're going to blot it dry. So I have a little, um, you can use paper towel, whatever. I happen to have some of these little lint-free wipes here. I really don't like lint. And I'm just going to drag them out of the water. And then I'm just going to blot them dry. Okay. <laughs> so pretend I didn't put that last top coat on. So over the pigment, you're going to either want to put a... Um, a top coat that remains tacky or you're going to want to put a base coat over the top of your um, pigment. That way you have a tacky layer to grip your water decals and they go on way easier. So that's what we're going to do and I'm just going to cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so there we go and I'm going to take, um, so now it's tacky, <laughs> so I'm going to take my silicone tool and I'm going to pick up my little skull and I'm going to lay it in the tacking layer. And I'm just going to push it down. See, now it lays nice and flat. And everything works out really well this way. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up my other skull. Put that one over here. Put 
push it down. See how the nice jaggy layer just grabs that? And there's a bunch of different things that you could do if you messed up like I did. You could also use like nail glue or um, whatever, but don't mess up. <laughs> do it the right way the first time. So I have these on here and they're all pushed in really nice. I'm trying to keep it away from the edge. So I've got a nice seal for the top coat. Well, I think I'm happy with everything here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my shiny no clean top coat. And I'm going to seal them in. Okay, now this I am going to cure for one minute. Okay, and we're done. Now, um, some thoughts. So now here is my mess. Um, I think the next time I play with this, which I probably should have even caught this earlier, is um, it's kind of messy to clean off of here. And I got pigment all over my mat, which, you know, isn't like the end of the world. You can clean it off. It's kind of really messy. So I think, you know, next time I might just use like a little piece of um, cardstock or a tin foil to put my pigment in. Because then I can just fold up this whole mess and throw it away. So that's my thoughts on that. I'm all about the easy cleanup. <laughs> Okay, and these are just easy to put away for your next use. And the little strip in here. Just sandwich it in between the black paper and the little um, clear sheet that it comes with. And just slide it right back into the package. So now it's ready. Ready for the next time. So here is what I'm sure you've all been waiting for. And that is the finished look. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.